Hello and welcome to World War II and more. In this video we are going to be talking about the Russians who fought for the Germans during the Second World War. Before we start this video I wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. And also if you haven't already be sure to subscribe because after we reach 500 subscribers we will be doing a giveaway. So thanks again and enjoy the video. In 1941, during the invasion of Russian-occupied territories known as Operation Barbarossa, hundreds of Russian defectors volunteered to join the German army. These volunteers, not being fully trusted by the German command, was mainly serving in non-combatant roles such as drivers, stretcher bearers, engineers, and some were put in combat units to help fight the Russian partisans. Though the Russians did have an official badge for their uniforms, there was no real formation of Russian troops in the early part of the war. However, German propaganda came up with the idea of calling these troops the Russian Liberation Army. But in reality, all Russian units were not permitted in the German army during the early years of the war. The Russian troops did, however, have sort of a nickname which translated to those willing to help. During the Battle of Stalingrad, the German army was in desperate need of troops, it, and it is estimated that one quarter of the German 6th Army troops were Russian defectors. A captured Russian general named Andrei Vlasov captured during the Battle of Moscow in 1942, and after being captured, the Russian general defected from the Russian army and joined the German army. It was reported that he repeatedly tried to convince German high command to let him command a fully equipped Russian-German infantry battalion. By late 1943, there were hundreds of thousands of Russian defectors serving in the German armed forces, and several German commanders believed these Russian defectors could fill many holes in German divisions. But in late 1943, German high command became increasingly worried with the loyalty of the Russian troops after several reports, such as this one from the German 8th Army, stating, All local volunteers are unreliable during enemy contact. Principal reason of unreliability is the employment of these volunteers in the East. Therefore, a large majority of Russian troops were moved to the Western Front. In fact, there were hundreds of Russian troops serving in Normandy during the Allied invasion on June the 6th, 1944. But these troops were not armed, and actually were serving as workers, helping build the Atlantic Wall. Therefore, most surrendered to the Allies without incident. The fate of these soldiers is unknown. I have found in multiple German accounts that in the Allied POW camps on the beaches of Normandy that none of these Russians were ever seen in the POW camps, and it is believed that they were given to Russian forces and most likely executed due to in early 1943 all members of the Russian Liberation Army being considered traitors of the Soviet Union. In November of 1944, the first ten all Russian formations of the Russian Liberation Army was permitted. On the 28th of January 1945, it was officially declared that the Russian divisions would no longer be under the German army. In fact, they would have their own uniforms and own ranks. However, the Russian Liberation Army was very unorganized, and several divisions were not even fully equipped with weapons, and by the end of the war only one division had been in combat against the Soviet Union. In fact, not long after its formation, multiple divisions would switch sides again and fight against the German army. From January to May 1945, some 112 Russian divisions had been formed, but very few were combat ready. In May 1945, Russian Liberation Army General Andrei Vlasov changed sides and ordered all the remaining divisions to fight against the Germans. However, while trying to flee, Vlasov was captured by US forces and handed over to the Soviet Union. He was tortured tried for treason, and on August 1st, 1946, he was hanged. It is estimated that some 600,000 to 1 million Russian defectors served in the German army and the Russian Liberation Army. 
but more than likely the majority of these sur soldiers would have been executed or serve in Soviet Union forced labor camps after the war. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. Also, check us out on Instagram, link down in the description. And remember to always love history.